So the other day I finished reading a book called The Sounds of Capitalism by Timothy Taylor. As you can see, I learned a lot from it. I thought it was really well done and it combines my three academic loves, music, psychology, and marketing, which I thought was pretty cool. But it's a history of the relationship of music and advertising over the last 100 years. The biggest theme from this book is that the music industry and the advertising industry have become more and more enmeshed as time has gone on. And in fact, the author argues that the two have become inseparable, and one cannot survive without the other. Our journey starts in the 1920s with the radio, which is when music and advertising really start holding hands and hanging out and learning to love one another. So companies would buy programs or blocks and sponsor the live entertainment to entice people to listen. Advertisers want them to play the music that's going to appeal to the demographic they want to sell their product to. So even though more money is being pumped through the system, they do have less freedom to play whatever they want. Then the jingle comes into play and that's really when music is used as the vehicle of advertisement. The second phase of this whole ordeal is in the 1950s with the start of motivational research. Hello psychology. Motivational research is all about finding hidden or subconscious emotional drives that make us buy what we buy and do what we do. This sort of thing is really important at this point because there are a lot of products on the market and most of them are basically the same. The tepid fate of mass consumer culture. Motivational research was to help advertise products from an emotional standpoint, to grab people's emotional attention. Because that's what really makes people loyal to a brand or a product, and that's what advertisers really want. So, in the 1960s, when television became popular, emotional advertising just completely skyrocketed. The thing that really revolutionized the relationship between music and advertising was MTV. The thing is, music videos started creating a new relationship between audio and visuals. Music became the thing of focus, accompanied by a meaningful visual content. This was obviously super helpful to commercial creators and things began to get a little more artsy and abstract. The format was especially conducive once advertisers realized that the younger demographics responded well to music because music is cool and the youths love things that will make them cool. And thinking about how things are now, I mean, Every commercial has music in it. It gives us cues to tell us how to feel about something. You form a positive association with it. Emotional-based marketing and commercials are a lot less aggressive and in your face than some guy screaming at you to buy the thing. So for advertising, there really is no going back. They are pretty enmeshed. And thinking about the current state of the music industry with all the streaming services and stuff we have online, that would not be able to function without advertisements. So I was thinking about the future of the music industry and what's going on with that after I read this book. And I had one of those, oh shit! moments. So here's what I'm thinking. A lot of record labels and production companies are losing a lot of money. Technology is expensive and recording stuff is expensive. People are demanding high quality sound without being kind enough to pay for it. Furthermore, plenty of people don't even need record labels, you know, they can just post their shit online. So music industry kind of struggling. On the other hand, we have ad agencies and big corporations that do have a lot of money. And like I said earlier, they're really invested in the music industry. They need music. So what if ad agencies became music labels? The marketing firms or the big corporations start signing artists and producing albums. What if that's how music and marketing finally come together? Is that crazy? I mean, corporations already pay to license songs. They sponsor artists to drink their drinks and wear their clothes. They put stuff in music videos. So what if this is the final step? The advertising industry 
become the music industry because the music industry can't survive on its own anymore. Okay, the like four people who actually watch my videos, you should tell me what you think because I definitely need some feedback on this. Am I crazy? 